This is the title track of our new record. This is called 401. Welcome to the Colonel Sound Emporium, my studio that's in the corner of the coach house here and where Dolly Varden recorded our new album for a while. And uh, we just set up in the coach house here, set the drums right there, right here where they sit, and I was sitting right over there, Mark over in the corner, Diane somewhere around here, on some one of the, some one of the songs she played this organ that's now buried in guitars. Um, but well, we recorded everything live, for the most part. Some of the stuff was overdubbed, but for the most part, all of the songs were tracked with all of us right here in this room. Everything bleeding into everything else, and uh, no separation. And we just learned over the years that's, that's the way that we play best, where there's that sort of challenge of everyone playing to their best and getting, getting a good take as a group, where everyone's sort of spontaneous, and, and uh, that when we separate ourselves into different rooms and do overdubs, that the, the sort of chemistry of the group is, is not as good. It just doesn't, it doesn't shine through. We really play best as a band, and we've learned that over the 18 years that we've been playing together. All my favorite moments uh, are, uh, are performing and not, not recording. Either some of my favorite moments are when Steve brings a song out and hearing it for the first time, but I've, we've had a lot of transcendent performance moments that feel like the absolute peak of life, you know. That's how other people describe sex. That's how I feel about singing with Steve. Sex? Mm. Singing with Steve? Um. There are rubies in the dirt. There are lines across your shirt. We have found a way to laugh. But it's happening too fast. But with any luck, it lasts. song order and come up with a title for the album and I was just like I'm like the kid in class trying to raise his hand I was like Steve like this one connects to this song and you got to put this one here and this that's the same guy in that song and I was just I was crazy about this record just the, the lyrical things and, and how it all stitched together I would, mm -hmm. I there are lots of connections that I didn't even recognize that Mark recognized there's lots of things that reappear in a lot of the songs. It's really cool, and, I, and I'm guessing that that's because they all sort of bubbled up within the same general, you know, seven to eight month time period. Even from the very start, things were never right. But no one could blame us for trying. So, as long as I've been alive, I've, o I've only ever really wanted to write songs and sing them. I think even back to when I was like six and seven years old, um, listening to Beatle records, I was just like, I want to do that. And when I was 12, I learned to play guitar and started writing songs shortly thereafter. As soon as I learned three chords, I basically was trying to write my own songs. I don't know why, but it's just what I do. And I would be doing it 
if nobody listened. <laughs> I'm thankful that some people listen. For a while there, I was discouraged that not more people were listening. But at some point, I just sort of let go of that and things have gotten much, much better. And I think they've gotten much better with the band as well because we all sort of collectively let go of this need and just embraced the music making of it and the sort of collective spirit of making music together. And uh, it's just become a, a wonderful thing. Yeah. And it's so fun when he introduces a song to us because yeah. he's super modest about it and yeah. almost embarrassed. Yeah. And the song, he plays it, just plays it, sings it. Yeah. And it's just amazing and we're blown away. Oh. And he's just like, well, what do you think? Mayfly. And it's just like, oh. Mayfly yeah. on the new rap. We were he, crying. He walks in, you know, just, it was just any, it was just one of these rehearsals we called to like sort of, you know, shake the rust off and... Uh, you know, play some songs and maybe get ready for a show that was coming up. And it's like, oh, I got this new song. I don't know if I can play it for you. And he proceeds to just work his way through Mayfly. And you know, I'm welling up with tears. And I was you're sobbing. Just like, <laughs> I was sobbing. So awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I secretly record him when he starts. <laughs> I turn the recorder on because yeah. he won't let me do it if I tell him. In the dream, I am a singer. And I play a great guitar In some bar I don't remember We have traveled here from very far There are faces in the darkness Not so many but enough They sing the words as we sing them. My eyes are closed, and you are looking up. And maybe for half a second, my body lifts into the air. And I hover like a I must not forget